Hello, this is Big G Baby, and welcome back to Boss Time against Blados and Chalice. I'm about to play Golden Sun, Dark Dawn. I'll be a little quiet so you guys can hear the music. Yeah, kick-ass unique boss music for Blados and Chalice. Okay, so as usual, I'm buffing up my physical attacks first, and I'm having Matthew use Planetary against Blados because he's weak to Mars, and Tyrell using Plumage against Chalice, who's weak to Mercury. And those are the most powerful physical attack synergies that we got for those elements there. And then next I'm going to have... Sveta go into beast mode with her beast form synergy, which is really useful during boss fights there. I'll go over how that works exactly in more detail. Suffice to say, it gives her a massive buff. Let's see, Shadow Shield reduces all damage by 50%, and it has initiative, so it'll always happen before you can get your attacks going no matter what. Oh well. Well, this round we weren't really going to be doing a whole lot anyway. Now, let's see. I want to try and take out Blados first, if I can. But we'll see how things go. Okay, so in Beast form, yeah, uh, Sveta gets pack defense. Uh, what is it? Defend the whole party. Rampage to hit all enemies. Or she could use single targeting physical attack. But what I want to use is Synergy Slam. The Venus Elemental Multiplier attack. It is obscenely good against anything that's not even weak to Venus. It just deals a ton of damage. Okay, so now let's take a look at this. Wow, look at that damage! <laughs> yeah, it's obscene against bosses, but there is a drawback to it, and I'll go over that in a moment. But let's see here. Okay, I think we're doing pretty good against Plato's there. I think we've almost got him down to critical HP. He has 1931 HP, but Chalice has 1830. Ah, nice. Matthew's the only one who has a uh, Mars attack genie, so I can't finish off Plato's right now unless I get rid of or ignore the experience boost with the gen kill. So, I'm going to have to, uh, yeah, remove, well, Delusion and Stun from Matthew there. And we'll go with Frostbite. I gave the Ice Queen gem to Reef there so that he could contribute a little bit of damage if we weren't in dire need of healing. Okay, so yeah, with a uh, Jab class on Tyrell there, he has Restore Synergy, which does the same thing as an Elixir. But if he were the one that was stunned, I would have to have someone else use an elixir on him to do that. Okay, well, I don't want to deal any more damage because these two are almost dead here. So let's just have Sveta defend, use Fury and Spout that should get the job done. But let's heal up just in case anyway. So the thing with Sveta's beast form is that once she's in her beast form, uh, she'll what is it her gen will go into recovery mode one per turn until she runs out of gen and then she loses beast form so that is the drawback to it but it's totally worth it in this fight or any boss fight that you can end relatively quickly with beast form she is just a boss destroyer with that it's obscene all right, got it. And you do have to win this boss fight. You can't do, like, the Lost Age where, well, you can win if you can, but if not, you'll, you know, the plot will progress anyway. No, you actually have to win. Well, what do you mean? I thought we won. Kicked your ass? What the... Not if I have anything to say about it. 
Tyrell, can you please set them on fire? Now? Okay, he has some synergy, but you could set Ryu on fire. Nice. So, are, are any of you... <laughs> I like the way he says that. So, are, are any of us going to, like, get up off our ass to physically stop them? I mean, he could defend himself, but not Ryu. Or destroy the magma orb and take one for the team. Yeah, what is Volacek getting out of the deal anyway? But you're working for them, aren't you? Hmm, what's that? What's the worst that could possibly happen? Well, then stop him, Amiti! You know what you're doing is wrong! Right? I mean, you're at least remotely hesitating. Dumbass. Whoa! What's going on? Uh oh! Danger music! Well, what do you mean? We just want to rescue. Uh, what was? Uh, yeah, rescue Hoju and uh, Yolio there. Well, someone hit the fire alarm in the place. Uh, you had a choice. You made the wrong one. The way, way, way wrong choice. What are you gonna do to him? Even if he didn't have synergy. Well, we haven't exactly fought you in battle. Why did the bad guys get all the cool teleportation tricks? Standard JRPG. Oh, well, that's a nice name. I think in uh, the Jap the, a direct translation of his name from Japanese was uh, what was it, Ace? Or something like that? Yeah, we, uh... Heard about that. I was kind of there. Hmm? What do you mean? Okay, well this isn't a lighthouse, though. Oh, well then, why didn't they just destroy the place? Well, I suppose that's kind of true, but you did capture Yolio and Hoju to force us into this situation. Can we just leave Ryuko here to die? Please? Nice. So you're just gonna take their corpses with you? Or they could still 
barely be alive and become a recurring boss fight. Yeah, we kind of need to leave. What do you mean, all-powerful? He just teleported around and knocked Tyrell flat on his ass. It doesn't exactly seem like a very good demonstration of being... or having godlike power or anything. Okay, so, in order to, uh, get out of this place, we need to get these saw blocks going. You might also notice Sveta has two djinn that are on standby. That's because, well, she was in her beast form for two rounds there. But as you walk around, yeah, you hear that sound effect there? That means one of your djinn was, or had recovered from, uh, what is it? Well, yeah, from the recovery status there. So, you, yeah, you can't even move Jin around while they're in recovery. So, if you're going to use Beast Form... Whoa! Barely made that one in time. But yeah, if you're going to use Beast Form, make sure that you're going to have the opportunity to get those Jin back up and running. Okay, so before actually leaving this place, let's go up here instead. The doorway that we just passed up down there, that would actually get you out of here. But there's one other thing that we can do as long as we're here. Maybe it's not that dangerous up here after all. Kind of reminds me of the... What is it? Uh, the dungeon in Kaoro... Kaocha, whatever that was. Euroboros? Something? However you pronounce it, I forget. Oh, well, the world seems to be fine otherwise. But alright, we get a new summon for putting our lives at risk here. I don't know that we're actually at risk, though. I mean, while we're, you know, in the tower or anything. Yeah, you can leave up here, but yeah, there's nothing to do up there. <laughs> So, eh, kind of pointless there, but... Okay, let's get back downstairs, then. But yeah, I don't think you can get a game over here, can you? I mean, if you waited around long enough, is there, like, some hidden countdown or something that will eventually kill us? I don't think so. I could be wrong on that. But we'll just leave well enough alone here and, uh get out of here. I like the way the camera was panning around as we were climbing up that spiral staircase. So, let's see. Yeah, if you tried coming over here before, you would have only seen that top part of, well, I think they call it a museum or something or other. So, but now the tower has risen out of the ground or whatever, and nothing else is happening. Huh. Well, you could go over that way, but there's no one over there, so let's go this way now. And if you recall earlier, there was a chest over here that we couldn't reach before. But, yeah, now that we got on this side of the tower there... We can get the treasure chest for a power bread. I think I'll just give that to a Reef there. He could always use the help. He has a better job class than Karis or Amiti has there. Oh, no, I don't even need to use Whirlwind here. I can just hop over here. So yeah, that's how you're supposed to get to the other side of that crate there. Oh? Oh... What do you mean? It didn't happen yet? Or, or what? Well, now that we've got Sveta and our party outside of the Blinsk rooms, we can mind read people. So at least this function is basically the same thing as the mind read synergy from the previous games, but Spirit Sense has some additional applications. Let's just put it that way. 
But, uh, we won't be able to do anything with that here. Or at least not right now. And we can also even talk to shopkeepers that way, too. I mean, I can't directly talk to them like, you know, a no normal NPC or something, because I can't talk to them behind the desk. But you can at least read their mind and get something going on there. Oh, well, maybe this isn't so bad after all. Oh, yeah, evidently. You're done playing the symbols and pretending you're actually playing music? Oh, yeah, I suppose we did take care of the mountain rock for you. Nah, there's, I'm sure there's nothing to be afraid of. You're just being paranoid. Oh, yeah, evidently, like, murdering each other. Yeah, probably just a coincidence. I wouldn't worry about it. Man, everyone's just so on edge for no apparent reason. <laughs> well, we might as well see what the people around here have to say now that they got a whole new tower in their castle or capital. I think it's like the capital of Morgal or something or other. Okay, how's it going? How does everyone know that? Have people been like tomb raiding or something in the past 30 years? Ha <laughs> ha yeah, the museum was that top part of the tower there that we came out of briefly. But we couldn't have gotten in there before. Well, yeah, of course we're young warriors. We're JRPG protagonists. What did you expect? Fully grown adults saving the world? <laughs> what do you mean? Well, it's nighttime. So. Yeah, well, you're gonna have to wait a little while then. I suppose I could rest up here if I wanted, but I don't think that's uh, necessary. I think we're either at or very near full. Oh, yeah, I suppose with the full moon and everything. No, of course not. Now you're just talking crazy. What light? I didn't see any light around here. Unless you mean like the reflection of the moon or something. Now I'm sure that's not the case. Nothing's happening. It's not a bomb or anything. Well, nothing's really happening yet with that thing, oddly enough. I mean, sure, there was a bit of a rumbling and everything like that, but nothing too extraordinary so far. Oh, yes, I'm deliberately forgetting about your sister. Oh, right. Yeah, you can't leave the city. Er, yeah, now, we're already past the no turning back point. So, I hope you got all your good stuff. Like the gin, the summons, and all that. Well, it looks like the entrance to the ruins is gone now. You could actually go around to the entrance um, to the east of the, what is it, the sanctum there. And you could actually go into that part of the ruins there and slap the statue head, but nothing would happen. I mean, you could still go through it, but you'd be blocked. So, don't worry about it. What mess? Huh, that's weird. I would think they wouldn't... Uh, what is it? Have that dialogue about cleaning up some sort of mess until... Well, what I'm about to do here. 
I guess they didn't program different lines of dialogue there. The... No, okay, they don't have anything in there. I thought Insight might reveal what's going on. But, uh, no, no. What happened? Ah, okay. Yeah, I was thinking maybe we'd get, like, a little T icon over their head, but, uh, no, no, evidently not. So, but yeah, this is the mess that they were talking about there, so yeah, that does seem kind of odd. But they programmed it. You could see that before. Uh, making the mess, actually. Okay, so what you gotta do here is use the Dow Synergy to put out the stove there, because if you don't do that, the instant you make a, a, a nice pillar there, it would melt. So, use Dow, then use Cold Snap, so you can get over here to get the Pincer Genie. Hooray! But will Volchek actually release Hoju and Yolio? What did the Tuaparang want to activate Luna Tower? What does it even do? Find out next time on Let's Play Golden Sun Dark Dawn. This is H.G. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day!